This is a video of our 1993-25 IX. It's got a dining chip, 410 diffs, uh, completely refreshed. First gear, shifting's tight in the second. 50 at 6,000 RPMs in second with the dining chip and the 410 diffs. One of the best driving E30s I've ever had. And that's all E30s, rear wheel drive and front wheel drive. Coming into a nice section of turns here, suggested 30 mile an hour speed limit. Going up into fourth, pitch it a little bit. Mind you, I'm on snow tires. Nice decreasing radius. Kona yellow shocks. The best shocks for an E30. Way better than the Bilsteins that I normally do. Uphill. It's been raining on and off today, so grip's actually not that good. And I'm on snow tires on pavement. But because the E30's like a yellow lab, it's predictable, it communicates. I have the utmost of confidence. Going on the uphill section now. Third gear indicating about 60 miles an hour. Lift ever so slightly, pitch it, hold it, let the all-wheel drive pull you through. Absolutely no understeer. My E30 understeers in that corner. And my E30's got street tires on it, not snow tires. That's all suspension right there. Same thing here, watch. Downshift to fourth. Track it out to the outside. Do a late apex through this turn. There's a wet spot there. In the third we go. Pitch it, there's consequences. Look at that, oh yeah. <laughs> oh. oh man, I love this car. <laughs> the thing about this car is it's not the prettiest E30 on the market. It's certainly not the lowest mileage. And it's an IX. That scares people. People are afraid of, of the all-wheel drive system. It, you know, it's a pretty stout system. Uh, it's simple mechanically. As long as they've been maintained like this one, they're great. This car pulls and it has a composure that even stock ISs don't have. It, it's just fantastic. Everything's been done right. The reason to buy this car is because of the way that it's set up. You know, dine and chip, yeah, all right, it's not that, it's an M20, you're only gonna get so much out of it, but it really does improve the throttle response. And then when you put 410 diffs in this car, it completely makes up for the, the, the kind of, the, the lack of what the 391s have in the, uh, in the stock manual form. It just, it, it's perfect for Colorado, it's perfect for the altitude power loss that we get up here. It's about 18% in the flatlands and uh, it just really livens up the car. Every IX should have come this way. Here's a uh, stoplight, I'll do uh, wheels off the steering, full hard braking application into the ABS, doesn't pull, steering rack's fresh, the shifter's fresh, it's been completely rebuilt, the shift knuckle, the shift cup, the little yellow washers that go between the, uh, the shift selector rod, it just shifts fantastic. This wheel is perfect, it makes up for the the four lock to lock steering rack, the, the factory E30 sound. Here we go, wide open road. That's why a lot of people have asked me what the 410s give you uh, as far as highway speeds in fifth gear. 65 miles per hour, I'm doing 3,000 RPM. Inside heated seats that work. Clarion stereo, European style clock, the analog clock. This is at idle. No check lights. Sunroof works.
as do the windows. No noise from the blower motor. No, uh, no bear, no crickets chirping. The, the sound the bearings make. Air conditioning, heat work. You can see the cracks I took pictures of in the dash. This is the most glaring. And then there's a couple more over here. I have, I have different solutions I would offer to fix that that I've done in the past. Cup holder. Very nice feature. ZHP shift knob, shifter is tight, and uh, one of the best I've, I've had. Ski pass through in the back. Here's the, here's the passenger seat. You can see the condition of the leather. And uh, I'll go ahead and open the hood. Take a listen to the engine. So here, you can see underneath, replacement steering rack. Uh, I believe it was the last ZF rack in the US, but uh, no leaks, no seeps, everything's quiet. I'll hold the mic up close. Here's the trunk floor. Just one little spot of rust right there in the battery tray. That's pretty common. Easy fix. Not really bad enough to need correcting yet. <laughs> 